Listen. <laughs> we just hit water! Yay! Yay! Okay. I don't know if you can tell. This water is moving. Well, we have to prime the wine. I'll tell you if it gets too heavy for me. Mom, you're going to have to be the water turner off her. Do you think we need to put it down? No. Try. Ooh, look how clean that water is now. Woo hoo hoo! It's almost white. <laughs> you got to water the plants. Oh no, look. Getting clearer. Oh, nice and smooth until I said that and then it gets muddy. I was going to say, it's looking a little muddy there. <laughs> oh well. But it it's cool away. that it it's still running. It was just a clump. No, that's good, honey. Look at that. Still working. Still working good. And discovered a homemade septic system. Oh. There's your pot. It's about six inch leading into a five gallon drum. Oh, I don't know if it's full. I don't. Ugh. Let's not find but, out. Uh, I've been just blading through here. Luckily, I was doing some skim cutting. And, uh, ran across this. I didn't damage it or anything. Didn't break any holes. Or... So this would be coming from where the bathroom. Yeah. This is like the bathroom. Where that big pipe is. This is what it runs into. Well, that big pipe is full of dirt. So this is probably. No, it's not. It's an elbow. Oh. So this yeah. is probably empty. A bell with an elbow at the end. So. Oh, man. I hope this is empty. Yuck. So. We don't really need to worry about it because the grade, it's right at the grade that I'm working with. So I'm just skimming dirt and just building this up down here so we can slide the outhouse in, put some gravel down. So we'll probably just rebury that. Is that yeah, what you're thinking? I'm, I'm not going to mess with it. No okay. reason to. Once this is out of here, then we can make our minds up what we want to do with it. Okay. But for now, I'm just going to drive over it. Okay. And he took up that makeshift septic system that he found because it's just disgusting the rolls are going in the pan mm. and we done prayed over them thank jesus for them and ask them to be nice and yummy for our tummy. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is a good ending to a hard day's work. We've got one of the biggest headed woodpeckers I've ever heard. Hear that? Well, he's hitting it hard. I nicknamed him Sledge. stuff. Well, here we are on this little robin bird. Won't stop coming over and pooping on everything. I don't understand it. <laughs> Crazy thing. It's just waiting for opportunity to come over here. Now there's two of them. Another one right there. And they sit up there, peck at the window, and poop. Just amazing. But uh, this is what I do in the morning. Colleen's still asleep. I get the fire going. Open the container. And today, 
get to empty that water tank into the RV and uh, whatever's left over we just store we got to figure out something to keep these robin birds from perching right there and just making a big mess it's, a, it's incredible but uh, our building comes Tuesday so I still got some gravel to get out of the way so they can get down there and uh, got everything ready to go I'm just waiting to for sun to come out a little bit more and get some coffee down but uh, it's gonna be an interesting day but uh, yeah, right now I think I'm gonna go water the elderberries they're growing good <laughs> for the most part but <sighs> beautiful morning Love it when the sun comes out and touches the treetops. Yeah, you start really feeling the the freedom. Being oh, being a landowner because of that right there. Oh, glory! Love it.